Hi Faith Explorers, happy Sunday. I'm really glad that you're joining me for another Faith Explorers video this Sunday. So last week we met in person and it was really awesome to see some families. We were able to read our story and do our craft and say a prayer in person. Um, and it was really just awesome to be together. So in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have some more opportunities to have Faith Explorers or Sunday School together. So keep an eye out for your email and for announcements about when those dates are. So as for today, we have another story in our lectionary series. So another story that corresponds to the calendar of the church. And before we get started with our story, we're gonna go ahead and sing our song of the month with Alicia. Go ahead and sing along with her here. Hello, Faith Explorers. My name is Miss Alicia, and I am so excited that I get to sing with you this morning. I have a song for you guys. It's called, We Want to See Jesus Lifted High. And so I encourage you to stand up and move your bodies during this song. Um, you can dance and sing along and twirl around while we sing this song. Um, there's a lot of clapping parts, so get your hands ready. Make sure they're nice and warmed up. And it's called, We Want to See Jesus Lifted High. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> we wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted high. We wanna see Jesus lifted high. A banner that flies across this land, that all men might see the truth and know that He is. you enjoyed that song with Alicia. So our story for today is a little different because it's not in our Spark Bible, which is very tragic. So instead, I have the real big Bible here with me. And so if you have one, you can go pull it out at home and follow along. We are in the book of John, which is a gospel. So it's in the second half of the Bible. So John chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. Again, that's John in the Gospel, chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to find it in your own Bible. So, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. 
I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. So as you can probably tell, today we're talking about love. We probably heard love, what, five or six times in that really short paragraph. So Jesus says, there is no greater love than this, and we are commanded to love one another. So take a couple minutes to talk or think with the people around you about what it means to love one another. I know for me, It can sound super easy to say, oh, we just love everyone. And then my brother or my sister does something annoying to me or some car kind of cuts in front of me on the road and I get angry. So sometimes it's not always easy to love one another. So take a moment to talk about that with your family. All right, Faith Explorers, going along with the theme of love, we're gonna do a craft today that matches that theme. So go ahead and follow along here. Our craft today goes along with the theme of love, and this is something you might associate with Valentine's Day, but we are going to be writing love notes on post-it notes. You can stick stick them anywhere around your house, um, on your friends' doors, any place to show how much we love the people around us. All right, Faith Explorers, I hope you enjoyed that craft. We are finishing out our lesson today. We're going to say a prayer, and so remember, yet again, we have our two prayer boards. We have the good news board and the prayer request board online, so if you want, go and pause this video, go and add some things to those boards, and also see what people want us to pray for so that when it comes time to the prayer, you know how we can pray for those in our community. So in our prayer, as usual, I'm going to leave my hands open and give you space to shout out some things you want to pray for, and then I'll close us again. So please pray with me. Awesome God, we know that you gather us together with love, and we know that this is a commandment of yours, but sometimes it can be so hard to love one another. God, give us the patience to persevere and to act in ways of love, even when it may be hard. And God, we would also like to pray for all these things that we say aloud now. God, we know that you hear all of our prayers, both spoken and those still in our hearts. God, thank you for teaching us how to love. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. All right, thanks for praying with me, Faith Explorers. So as usual, the rest of your lesson will be in your parents' emails. There will be some coloring pages and a question sheet maybe and all that fun stuff. And I do have a couple of announcements. So coming up in, let's see, in two weeks on May 23rd, we have an event called Fun with the Holy Spirit. It's at 2.30 p.m. and I really hope I'll be able to see you there. This event, we are going to be making our own kites and learning about how the Holy Spirit is in the air and is working through us and it is gonna be really fun. So after that, it's June, and in June we're gonna have, ooh, never mind, I skipped over something. May 30th, it's a Sunday. We are gonna have in-person Faith Explorers in the morning at the 9.30 service, so I hope to see you there. And now on to June, June 6th and June 13th are in-person Faith Explorers, and June 12th is outdoor movie night. We're gonna do another movie, summertime this time, Um, So I hope you're able to join us for all of that and there should be more email with all the dates written out um, In your parents email. So go ahead and look there or ask me if you have any questions All right, faith explorers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye